What's going on everybody? Welcome not to just another Friday weekly update. Well, I wouldn't say Friday weekly update since I'm not doing this on a weekly basis anymore, but I'm at an update, but I'm probably still going to call it a Friday weekly update. But welcome to 2020 as well. I know I'm like about nine, ten days uh, behind on this, uh, but... Since uh, I've been pretty much busy for the holidays, and then I got my wisdom teeth taken out last week, I uh, was not going to do a video before all that, so I've been kind of out of it for a bit, but uh, a lot of stuff has dropped, the Zero Chill stuff has hit, came and gone, the Ghost of Madden stuff has came and gone, uh, the NFL playoffs are here, we'll talk about that, we'll talk about my team. Um, and then also they've done week 16 and week 17 of team of the week and then team of the year is on uh, the right on the horizon too so we'll see what uh, comes out with that here shortly I would assume within the next week or so that would probably come out but with that being said we're gonna get straight into the solo challenges I cannot show you guys the new solo battles because I'm behind on that as well uh, so team of the week they have week 16 and week 17 here uh, so they got Barkley and Fred Warner and then we'll look into the sets later and all that and then week 17 Joe Mixon and Dion Jones so uh, some interesting cards not super great but not super terrible uh, they have playoff prediction stuff so if you guys want to get this done uh, these go away on the 11th which is tomorrow I believe at 11 a.m. So looks like my ass is going to have to do these tonight. Uh, so pretty much it's going to be talking or like what do you think is going to happen in the real life games? Uh, is the Titans going to defeat the Ravens? Ravens defeat the Titans? Texans and Chiefs? Who wins those games? And uh, so on and so forth. I believe it's probably going to be the Ravens over the Titans and then the Chiefs over the Texans and probably the 49ers over the Vikings. And... I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the Seahawks over the Packers. So, I got a few. Those are going to be full games too, guys. So, if you click on this one, it's going to be a full game, five-minute quarters. Uh, it's so, you know, the, these challenges are probably going to take up to an hour at least. They do have NFL playoff challenges. Now, they only have one tier for this, and you can get a Nat Type 89 overall. And, you know, other than that... That's pretty much it, uh, other than you can get a new team captain token by just playing one of these, and uh, it's it's all, like, it's a pretty much a review of what happened in the wild card, so they're not going to be, I don't, they're, well, they're not going to be uh, full games, they're going to be situational stuff, so make sure to knock those out as well, I gotta do those, and other than that, for challenges, uh, that's pretty much it, also, I did finish the Gauntlet 2, and upgrade my Dion, or not my Dion, uh, my Devin White middle linebacker, so, that'll do it for the challenges, for the store, uh, your boy's got enough points to do the weekly, uh, elite, so hopefully I can pull something good out of this. I haven't pulled anything super good out of it since that uh, Redux. Oh, we're gonna get is that a full legend? Oh, it's an 86. You, you, you pranked me, bro Okay, we're gonna get a team of the week 83 and We're gonna get a platinum. Come on. Give me at least an 83 an 80. Um, how much do these 80s go for? This goes for 18 grand. Uh, I believe I, I feel like this 86 is gonna go more than uh, 18 grand. So I'll, I'll go with that for now and look into that. Thank you for the 2,000 coins. And so nothing good, nothing good out of the weekly, uh, the weekly elite feature pack. Also, these are the legends you guys can see on the screen if you guys didn't know that. And then uh, the store. So. No new currency has really happened, uh, or, well, nothing in huge, I would say, as of right now. Uh, you can use a bunch of training if you want to get a 95 playoff hero. Uh, a lot of, you know, you're gambling a lot for that because it's, it's random, obviously, so pick and choose. If you have a lot of, uh, training, then, uh, go for it. If not, then, uh, I would hold on to it for something else. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the store, for the team. Uh, we'll talk about the team. We'll go into the sets uh, right now and zero chill and all that. Um, I really didn't talk about this since I didn't make a video, but they have out of position stuff. 
Ghost of Madden, and uh, Zero Chill stuff. Uh, you know, all those challenges too, the gingerbread guys that you get, you put them in these sets. I've been doing these sets just to get training out of them, really, and that's pretty much it. So for the playoffs, AFC, NFC, and there's an exchange. So, yeah, you can do one random 83, or then you have to put in an 80 to 82, a couple more 80 to 82s, and you get an 83 plus. Unless you want to go somewhere down here, exchange 5, 87 to 89s, and get a 91 to 93. Necessarily, I don't have that in my binder, so I can't do that. So with these sets right here, they have the Masters, and then they have uh, the 95 playoff guys. Uh, like I talked about, the Heroes, Marshawn Lynch, D4, Devontae Adams, Drew Brees, Danelle Hunter, and Brandon Brooks. And then for the AFC... You have Champ Bailey, Ronnie Stanley, which this card is really good. I might just buy him and say, fuck it, whatever's cheaper. Um, I might get him, but as of right now, I'm going to wait and save up my coins till Team of the Year is here. Then I'm going to hop on that. So, uh, Stephen Gilmore as well, Travis Kelsey, Deshaun Watson, Jermaine Edmonds, and Kevin Bayard finally gets an upgrade. And that's pretty much it for the playoff sets. And all obviously, the NFL 100 stuff has been out for a while. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can go ahead. Uh, they have all the players out now. So with that being said, I am a 93. My de de defense is a 94. I am a level 80. All that good stuff. I did get Patrick Mahomes, as you guys can see as well. I did not get rid of Steve Young. I still have him. I decided to get Patrick Mahomes because he was super, super cheap. Then I also decided to get Christian McCaffrey's uh, power up. He's a 95 for me as a backup running back. And I decided to get him because I know he's going to get a team in the year card. I am really, really certain about that. And this card is very, 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 very good. So I'm happy with it right now. So also, I did get the Bo Jackson. This card at the time, his Ghost of Madden card was out for like 300k, 250, something like that. It was super, super cheap. It took me forever to power him up because I need to get his Redux card or his uh, Madden 10 card, and it was really expensive. It was like 300 plus K or something like that. So I finally got him. I got him to a 96, and he's got 97 speed for me right now. I'll show you guys his stats. Boom. 97 speed, 96 excel, and 94 uh, break tackle, and 96 trucking. I do have wrecking ball on him, so stiff arms and trucks have a higher chance of happening. And uh, I'm really happy about that because this card is really, really, really good, and I love it. So Patrick Mahomes, super good. I got Bazooka on him. I do have Escape Artist on him. Um, pretty much he had a little bit better speed and a little bit better throwing than Steve Young. So I went from the right-handed or went from left-handed quarterback to the right-handed quarterback. I was really hoping Steve Young would get a uh, Ghost of Madden card this year, and he didn't. So. I don't know what they're going to do for Steve Young. Maybe they'll give him like a Super Bowl thing. If not, then it's probably going to be Ultimate Legends for, at that point. Tyreek Hill, I'm waiting for them to give him. I'm, I feel like he's going to get a Team of the Year uh, card. Also, Christian McCaffrey, I have a rece wide receiver number four. Pretty good. Pretty good receiver and also as a running back as well. So, that you know, this guy is so versatile. I do have uh, this Torrey Hole upgrade as much as you can right now since I'm a level 80. I also did buy the other Terry McLaurin card. So when he gets a power-up, I'm hoping here soon, I can power him up to a 95 and have Sprinter on him and whatever other perks if I decide to put anything on him. And then I haven't changed anything at uh, defensive end, or defensive end, uh, tight end, excuse me. And then the O-line is uh, just about the same. I do need to work on my left tackle and center, though. Uh, just, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably get that Ronnie Stanley or maybe that Jordan Gross or something down the line. Devin Bush is a 94 because he had that Ghost of Madden card come out. And then these are pretty much, uh, I got 92, 93, 94 at middle linebacker. Still rocking with Anthony Barr. I did <clears throat> upgrade Lawrence Taylor to a 95. This card is insane. I do have the Pat Tillman. I think I talked about that. I got that done a while back. So 96, rocking with him still. I still need to upgrade that Dion. Got J.J. Watt. This was the Ghost of Madden. 
I think, uh, like one of the master sets or whatever, I bought this card, and this card is really great. I used up my level 80 power-up pass, 95 overall power-up pass on John Randall, because this card, last time I checked, was like 300-something K. So, defensive tackles are good. I decided to get Alan Page from the NFL 100 challenges. Uh, you get a free player out of all the players, and I decided to go with Alan Page for my defensive tackles. Solid right now. Nick Bosa got an upgrade while this Christmas uh, Zero Chill stuff was out. And I think it was uh, I think it was a Ghost of Madden card. And he's a 94. Uh, I could get my Ty Law to a 96, technically. Uh, I got to do that challenge to get that, uh, that... I can't think of the name of it. The Team Captain token. And then I also got Xavier Rhodes from... The Gauntlet, this card is pretty solid, guys. Uh, I really have no cons about it. A lot of good pros about this. I do have, uh, I think I have Zone Hawk on him. I have, yeah, I have Zone, Talk, Zone Hawk on Tillman, and then also Zone Hawk on Xavier Rhodes. And then we're still rocking with Earl Thomas, and that's pretty much my team. I did go get Adam Vinatieri. He is a 92 for me, so that... Solid kicker. Uh, I could put uh, chemistries on him or like abilities on him to make it easier kicking with him because sometimes I do miss kicks, but I just haven't got around to that. Other than that, that's pretty much the team. I haven't changed anything. I'm still rocking, excuse me, the same playbooks. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That'll do it for Madden Ultimate Team. Um, let me know what you guys think of this playoff, I guess, a promo what you guys thought of the Christmas stuff that came and gone uh, and I guess what your predictions on team of the year could be but other than that that'll do it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys have a great Friday hope you guys have a great weekend uh, I don't know what I'm gonna start doing for series and videos and recording and all that uh, I have been messing with my PC a little bit so if there's a certain game you guys want me to stream or play or whatever let me know in the comments down below uh, other than that that'll do it for the video guys and I will see you guys in the next one until then, take care. See you later.